the Elgin here, VIP boxing down at Sharp Star Boxing in Blackpool with uh, the man who's topping the bill going for his first title, young Mr. Jake Abro. Jake, how are you doing, kiddo? Yeah, I'm good, Lee, thank you. All good. Well, it's been a good day today. But I missed most of you because I, I turned up at the, uh, the track where you're doing your sprint and uh, you'd all finish. Yeah, I know, just a little bit too lately. <laughs> Thomas Timing, we called it, didn't we? He, he phoned me 10 minutes before I was setting up and said, you know, I was planning to get here for 10 o'clock. I didn't do too bad, but I was just five minutes too late when I went. We're fast, Lee, we're fast, that's what it is. <laughs> well, it looked like you were fast on the running track. Uh, who's the best? Is it Tom? Is he the fastest? I don't know. It's neck and neck a lot of the time, but Brad reckoned he'd have had him today, but he slipped at the end, so we'll <laughs> see next time. Yeah, yeah. Right. I missed it, didn't I? Yeah. I've seen it. Just, you just didn't get it. the camera out in time. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But it's uh, a big night for you, mate. A big night, a night that you've been planning on and dreaming about ever since you, uh, you turned professional and hung up your amateur vest. Yes. Um, a great opportunity for you in your hometown uh, on, a, on a fantastic uh, bill. But not just that, we're going live with TalkSport, as well as our own VIP channel, we're going live with TalkSport, which is going to open you up to a, a hopefully a much wider audience. I think they have something like 200,000 subscribers. So um, with our 20 odd thousand subscribers, uh, should be a big audience, not only in the, in the auditorium, but um, watching our home on screen. Yeah, definitely. I think it's... Um it's good to get a big platform and uh, hopefully we can build something up nice at the Winter Gardens because it's a, it's a quality venue and uh, hopefully it just keeps getting well, busier What and busier. we've been needing there for a long time is we've got the lighting rig there. The lighting rig that we had when you last was out in Leeds. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we had a little bit of an issue with it because it couldn't go to the height that it needed to because of the, the canopy that was up there because um, it might have set on fire. So they didn't want to do that. No, but no. this time it's perfect. I'm, I'm genuinely excited. Um, because uh, a lot of pressure on me to go for but there's also a lot of pressure on you because you know this kid is I, I don't know too much about him but yeah. I know his record mm -hmm. and in his 11 wins he's got five, uh, nine KOs yeah. um, so obviously he's a big punching kick guy here yeah tough strong man um, it's what I want I've, um, I've gone through all sorts of styles in my career but the, the negatives the ones who just try and survive people who come and put their head in your chest, like mess you up sort of thing. This is another new style and um, these are the sort of styles that I'm excited for because as much as he is big and he's strong, that also leaves him open for well, he's going to be throwing with you, opportunities. Isn't he? Yes, definitely. And, and last time you had a real tricky, I can't remember his name, was it John Menzi? Justin Menzi. Justin Menzi, that was it, Justin Menzi. And I, I thought he was going to get away from you. Yeah. Because he was very negative. I think negative. so with a lot of other people, but in, in the room at night. Yeah, he, he was very negative. Yeah. He, he ran around the ring and I thought he was just going to keep getting away from me. What I loved about your performance on that night was you were brutal. You, you, you cut the ring down really well. And yeah. then when you did pin him, you let your hands go, mate. And it was really, really pleasing. I think that little break that you had prior to that fight, did you a world of good, mate. 100%. I was just going to say that then. I. Um, for the first two rounds of the fight, I would say it was not not very similar, but pretty similar to some of my other performances where I was letting my hands go nicely and then he was just getting that little breather on the end and then sat back down at the end of the second round and my dad said, you've had this time off, do you know what I mean? You, you need to go and let your hands go on him now. And uh, it just flicked that switch in me and the second it did, it just clicked straight away. Yeah, yeah, it was nice to see, mate. Yeah. It was really nice. And like I said, uh, it was a night that Sharp Style stole, stole the show because you had a fantastic performance. Uh, picking up your, your full stoppage, up, was it? Yeah. Um, and then obviously Levi picked up his second stoppage mm -hmm. uh, on the bounce, and uh, uh, Brad picked up his third one on the bounce. So yeah. it was a bit like the Sharp Style show, which hopefully it's going to be on uh, May the seventh. Yeah, well, we've got because the full, there's five of you. Yeah, full squad out this time, and uh, everyone's been looking really good in camp. Everyone's just ready to fight now. It's coming towards that time, isn't it? Like, I was watching today, you were all moving around with one another. Um, you were moving around with Levi, uh, Tom was with the young Jake, who was a top amateur, yeah. uh, and Brad and um, Lewis were moving around with one another. But the good thing is there's four of you that can all move around because you're all near yeah. the same way as one another. And all slightly different styles to one another as well. Oh, it's brilliant, Leon. Have you had to go out much? Cause 
Uh, when I first met him, he was travelling up and down the country, sparring Dalton and uh, Dalton Smith and, and uh, Jack Capsule and you know, all these quality, quality kids. Um, have you been doing much of that for this camp or has it been more in house? A lot more in house. We've still been travelling out, obviously, you've got your, your different sort of sparring. Go out, obviously, spar Dalton and Sheffield and stuff like that, travel to Manchester and stuff. But, a lot of the sparring for this camp has been in house, and it's, it's brilliant. Nothing, nothing bad to say about it. It's always who's, who knows you better than Levi. Do you know what I mean? If I'm doing something wrong, he's going to clip me for it because he knows me better than anyone else. And if he's doing something wrong, it's the same way. Do you know what I mean? How would you find it with Levi? Because uh, Levi, you, I always say you and Thomas uh, there are very similar to one another. Yeah. Both of beautiful, perfect boxers. You do everything correct. Yeah. Levi does everything his way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, is he hard to work out or but, you manage to... Like when we get in, like like you're saying, I'm more traditional, he's more Levi, do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's exactly. all the way exactly yeah, Levi. Yeah, 100%. Isn't it? But then when we get in the ring together, we both just flow together. Yeah. It's just no better sparring for me, do you know what I mean, than my own teammate. But we we can, we can go. All day, me and Levi, we love it. Is it exciting for you now? Because you get to that stage now where, you know, this could be your first title and the stepping stone to bigger and better titles. Yeah. But also, you just mentioned a bit before, Tom and Levi are right on your tail now, aren't they? Yeah. You know, you've always led the way all the time, you know, since you were a little kid here, you've always led the way and they've always followed and they've always done well as well. Yeah. So uh, it must be exciting because 2025, could be a phenomenal year where not just me and anyone who, who watches our channel knows about Sharps now, but yeah, the whole of Britain and, and perhaps even the world by the end of 2025 could know about this place. Definitely, it's uh, it's very exciting. Like you said, I always looked at in the amateurs as Levi and Thomas as my little brothers, and now just we're brothers. You know what I mean? All together, they're right on my tail. If I'm doing something wrong on a day, Thomas and Levi, best believer taking me over, do you know what I mean? So it's brilliant. It's, but even Lou and Brad, with all, like they were saying in theirs, it's that friendly competition in the gym. It's just bringing everyone on every session. If I miss, if I miss a session through whatever, I'm wounded because I know <laughs> them four, do you know what I mean? They'll be flying ahead and it's just one session. So you're on catch up straight away. But um, no, it's exciting times for everyone. Yeah, it is. I must admit, and I, I, I really do think, you know, this place, could be what your dad dreamed about a long time ago. You know, he spoke, yeah. he, he believes that you're all going to be world champions. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just a matter of time before that gets proven right. And hopefully, towards the end of this year, we'll find out whether that is, is true or not. Because this is a, a, it's a, it's a big fight, it's your first title, mate. Both. First 10 rounds, are you yeah. excited for that? And yes. another thing I wanted to get back to, after that break, yeah, I think it was only about, it was about five months that you were in. Only about three months you was actually out of the gym. Yeah, out of the gym. I like, kept you out of the gym. Yeah, I'd say so. Two, two and a half, three months out of the gym, yeah. And then, um, what, what, what was you saying about the break? Was that good for you? Did that get all that hunger and that frustration? You honest, know, honest you're not being allowed in here. Honest to God, Lee, I, when he gave me the break, I was, there were so many like questions in my head. Why? Like, why have you done this? And then w within a month, not even a month, within a few weeks, I was like, this is why. I, I just felt like someone had put like a battery back in me. Do you know what I mean? I had like a spark again and I was itching to get in the gym straight away and he was like, not a chance. You and also, it was a move up from weight as well, from super light yes. to well away. We always knew you were going to end your career as a well away yeah. or, or certainly the main part of your career was going to yes. be well away. You might even go on further than that, we don't know. But, um, did it also allow you to, because when you're in camp, training and training and training, you can't put that size on it. Did it just naturally allow you to grow to be the well away that you want to be a lot quicker? The break? Yeah. Well, I had obviously a couple of caramel bars and stuff at the start of the the, uh, the break, but um, to be honest with you, I ate, I ate pretty clean and I, um, my body just, it's like my body relaxed and well, I just... You went up I, about 80 kilos, didn't you? Yeah, about 80 kilos, yeah, but I... Um, and I you looked in great shape. I wasn't out of shape, Lee, no, I wasn't out of shape at all. It's like my body just relaxed and it was just gone to what it should be. So, so, so that's what I'm trying to get to. It, it allowed you 
to speed up that Process, move from super flat, um, lightweight yeah. to welterweight yeah. in one fight. Because it is hard to move weights, you know, uh, from one fight to another. It normally yeah. takes two or three fights. Yeah. But I believe that's why we had that performance uh, last time yeah. out because you were proper, you, you are a welterweight now. Yeah, definitely. That's Well, that's the thing Dad's always said. He said, on the break, he said, you've got to do things right on the break to make sure you come back at welterweight and a proper welterweight. You don't want me going in at a weight that I'm not filled out at. Not ready for. Yeah. So I, I was going to the gym and just doing my normal strength and stuff like that. But like you said, it just it just happened naturally. Like, but I um, I feel like this is my weight. I feel really good at in the gym, sparring, everything. I feel like my it suits my style very well, this weight. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, looking at the new Commonwealth Youth Champion. Definitely, really. Definitely. Going to uh, win number 11. Yes. KO number 5. Yes, definitely. <laughs> looking forward to it. Uh, Ready to know, fight now. You're not the only one. I'm really looking forward to it. These are the nights that your manager, my boss Steve, would really look forward to him. He, 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 he smashed out some money on this one. And, uh, and uh, hopefully it'll be worth it because if all five of you lot perform, we've got some great kids uh, on the undercard from, from around the country. A couple of people making the debuts. We've got Jane Burden uh, having a second fight on there. Um, it's uh, uh, we've got uh, Sean Artright coming from Liverpool, bringing a big crowd up there. There's a kid who I just spoke to yesterday, Ryan McMillan, making his debut. I think he's bringing up 150 people. So I think it's going to be the atmosphere is going to be brilliant. The, the, the setting is going to be brilliant. The lighting is brilliant. We've got good commentators here, and, and like I say. Hopefully, a, a big audience, not just in the venue, but at home watching it, cheering you on. Yeah, definitely. Lee. I'm really excited for this one. Like you said, and Steve said from the start, he wants to build the Winter Gardens up. I think this is going to be the the first little creep up. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is um, it's going to be a great night. We'll find out on the seventh, mate. Good luck for the rest of the camp. There's not much left, yeah. uh, but uh, that final week of keeping everything sharp and keeping focused very important. So good luck with the rest of that. I'll see you on the 7th. Nice one, Lee. Thank Take you. Take care, mate. Thank you. For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.